Hey, what's up? My name is Nick and welcome to Tech House. In this video, we're going to be reviewing Surfshark. We're going to be looking at Surfshark as a whole to see if the features are right for you. If instead you're looking for more detailed analysis of all the features which Surfshark has, then I've already made a technical review and I'm going to link it down in the description below. Also, in the description, you're going to find all the links to anything I mentioned in this video, so check that out. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so personally, I have reviewed quite a lot of VPNs on this channel. Now, there are many VPNs out there and they have their pluses and minuses. But in this video, I'm going to show you what makes Surfshark so special. Let me start off by saying that Surfshark is a relatively new VPN on the market. I mean, it started in 2018 and by 2019, it had all its apps already and Within one year, by 2020, CNN was the first to name Surfshark as one of the top VPNs out there. Since then, many top tech giants have been holding the same opinion. Of course, you shouldn't just blindly trust anyone. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why Surfshark deserves this title and some reasons why it might not be deserving of such high praise. And just in case, if you're not familiar with what a VPN does, upon installing the app, you have a list of locations from which you can choose from. Clicking on any said location is going to mask your IP address to make it look as if you're browsing from that country. In turn, this allows you to access content as if you are actually browsing from that country, as well as provide a layer of security. Most common uses are to protect your identity online, access otherwise restricted content, and watch films and movies that are not available in your country. And since when you're using a VPN, all of your traffic is going to be going through it in order to secure it, we're going to have a look at some speed tests. So let me quickly disconnect from my server and get a base test of my speed connection. And as you can see, I got 940 megabits. Now let's connect to the fastest server and try this speed test again. So the first time I ran this, I got a significant reduction in speed under 17 megabits per second from the 940 original. So let's see if changing some settings is going to resolve this issue. By going to the settings and the advanced, we will find the protocols menu from where we can select WireGuard, which is the fastest currently available protocol out there. And although WireGuard, in my opinion, is definitely the future of VPNs, currently it is not 100% developed and OpenVPN is more secure, but WireGuard is absolutely more faster for sure. So let's give it a speed test. And wow, what a difference. 383 is much slower than the 900 we had earlier, but it's definitely an improvement. Sometimes you need to rerun the test a couple of times just to make sure it's landing the right speed. So one more time, and there we go, 600 megabits. Finally, it is connected and running at full speed. Now, uh, truth be told, statistically, most internet connections are not as fast as the one that I'm using here. So if your connection is under 600 megabits, then I doubt you're going to see any difference of a VPN being present or not. So let me quickly launch another test to the US server while I share my observations. Now you see, after using Surfshark for a while, I've noticed this happening over and over again. The connection part is usually inferior to other higher priced VPNs out there. But once it gets connected, usually the speed remains constant. Currently, I'm in Italy and geographically, the United States is very far away. So almost 400 megabits is not bad. On some selected servers, I've experienced dropped connections. As a matter of fact, while recording this video, I've experienced a couple of those. However, mostly this only ever happened in the beginning of my connection. And then when I started using the VPN servers, the connections didn't drop anymore. No. On the plus side, Surfshark has over 3000 servers in 65 countries. And in the countries where it doesn't have a server, like for example here in Argentina, there's a little V, which means a virtual server. It's kind of like a VPN using a VPN and then giving you a VPN. But also provides you some really good options like static IP, otherwise known as dedicated IP. This is really useful if you want to create a secret identity and then keep that identity rather than being anonymous every single time. Then also you have multi-hop, otherwise known as double VPN, which pretty much jumps from one server and then to another server, making that connection even more untraceable. These features are sometimes not even found on the most expensive VPNs out there. And in everyday scenarios, this thing does work. For example, let's go to Netflix and then type in James Bond's Casino Royale. And you can see that because we're connected to the United States, it is showing us. So now let's disconnect and refresh the page. And you can see that in Italy, it is no longer available. By the way, if you're wondering how much content are you actually missing out on, you can go to flixwatch.co and check out what films are available in which different country. And I'm going to link that in the description below. 
When it comes to security, Surfshark is the same level of encryption as the other best VPNs out there, which is AES 256-bit. In the words of Surfshark, even for the fastest computer on Earth, it will take a billion years to brute force an AES 256-bit encryption. So don't worry about your data, it'll be secure. And by the way, it also has been audited by an independent company to, to make sure that they're really keeping no logs. And at this point, you're probably asking yourself, so what is it that makes this VPN so great compared to the others out there? And the answer is undoubtedly the price. Now, naturally, price is subject to change, but they currently have a two-year plan special offer running, which will cost you less than six months compared to other highly recommended VPN subscriptions out there. Now, as I said, price is subject to change, so don't expect this offer to last forever. So I would invest into getting a two-year plan now, and as they're new, they're gonna roll out new features and you're going to be receiving them for free. Now, I'm going to be linking this specific offer in the links in the description below. And if you're watching this video when this offer is no longer valid, I'll be sure to link the best deals, discounts, promos, and offers, or whatever else they'll be running at that specific time. So let's sum up. Is Surfshark the best VPN out there? Uh, I don't think so. But is it close? Sure. Is it the best price to quality ratio out there? Yes, I, I, that is definitely a win. And in our lives, we have so many subscriptions running already, whether it be streaming services, password managers, cloud storage, etc. And having a low price version of a VPN that actually works, you know, for some, this might be the best solution out there. And for that reason, yes, I think Surfshark deserves a place in one of the top three VPNs. So, thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. I hope this VPN opens up a lot of possibilities for you. And just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So take care. Cheers.